Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 3. Real quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Now, we're back after a really good episode. We got introduced to... Oh, God. How do I pronounce it? Oh, no! I thought it was a surefire, and it's not. I don't know how to... You know who I'm talking about. The, uh, <laughs> the butler. Oh, my goodness. Franz Francois. Did I get it? Let me know if I got it. Um, <laughs> we had that. We um, we got to bake some, some, pa some bread, pastries. I'm saying pastries, but it was bread, bread that can last ten months. I might add. We um also built a camera, and we had Senku recreate um the famous Albert Einstein photo, sticking his tongue out. So that was cool too. Let's hop in episode three, and let's see episode three. We're going to get started in five, four, three, two, one. By the way, link in the Discord. Link in the description to the Discord if you want to be here when we watch this live. So, link in the description. Oh, my bad. Cool. I like how they did that with the 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 gray blocks signifying each of the photographs i like how they did that is it she's down there again <laughs> <laughs> oh excuse me Cool. Black gold. I was practicing how to snap and leave two fingers up. I can't do it. Because usually you'll snap and it'll be one. So it'd be like, bow. But to do bow, to do two, but it's, that's difficult. That was like the first time I ever seen Michael Jackson snap every single one of his fingers at the same time. Right? I was, like he did it and I was mesmerized. I was like, whoa. It's like the best I could do is snap up both. Uh video is probably stuttering. I'm sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to limp my PC along until I can get some new parts. So I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's possible. What kind of black magic are you working with? Encoding overloaded. Why? Gen's magic. I'm trying to figure out why are we encoding overload? That's what I don't understand. Let's do this. Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mushrooms, chestnuts, little worker ants. Everyone's out there. Is this the first time we've seen Ruri? No, probably not. But is this the first time we've seen her this season? We time skipped. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Threw his back right out. It's tough, man. Yeah. You have to feed them. <laughs> you know what I want? Holy crap. I know that's not pancakes, but I want pancakes right now. I haven't had a pancake in... I want to say it's been years since I've eaten a pancake. It's crazy. Four rillets with black truffle. Isn't it Suica? <laughs> Isn't it Suica? She's always rolling around looking at stuff. <laughs> ah, Suica's adorable. <laughs> oh no oh yeah and just like that <coughs> yeah bun Maybe I can spot the mushrooms. Oh, my. <clears throat> Not her trying to zoom in with her eyes. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. That's crazy. So why don't we have her looking for the oil? <clears throat> or is that the oil? <laughs> it's the oil. <laughs> I'm like, why don't we just have her? They've been at this for months. She could have looked at that and found it. <laughs> I love this show so much. So we're going to use them to find them.
Uh. <clears throat> okay. Ah. <laughs> Mentante Suica. Did we find it? Good job, Chalk. Good job. Ah, uh, I was going to say they wouldn't have taken the picture and tried to like put it in a specific spot so that they could sort it maybe. That's what I thought the different piles were. Would it be in the same area as the truffles? I like that he had to think really hard about this. Oh. Interesting. Really? And it took them. It took the boar. <laughs> it, the boar took them to the oil. Yeah. <laughs> What do you know? What do you know? <laughs> uh, does that board understand her or is the board just going to take off running? It was like the board understood her. It was like she talked to the board. What? I was going to say something stupid. Never mind. <clears throat> now you know what we do? We dig! I light that baby on fire. It's the real deal. How far away are we? I would like to see it on the wow. I would like to see it on a map. Like how far away are we from like base camp? Or will we or will we set up a camp closer to the oil fields? The boar has proved more helpful to us alive. Oh, 
It's like you saved my life. <laughs> you saved me. Senku, you're a big softy. You just don't like to tell tell and show people. He's a big softy. I can't believe we have a motorboat already. <clears throat> That's a big motor. Uh huh. Is he talking about oil? Did he lie to him? I can't remember. <laughs> he lied to him. <laughs> oh, it was gasoline. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Taiju, you lovable idiot. <laughs> This man had more connection to Senku making gasoline in science class and lab class than recognizing the smell of gasoline just in everyday life. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, that's funny. Gukio's like, I want to get him on. <laughs> They're really far out if the coast is that far away. Can you imagine being Chrome? <laughs> to be Chrome and to have lived your whole life in this village and you meet one man and your whole world gets flipped upside down. What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> How are we going to make a GPS without the, without a satellite? He made a phone. I'm not going to put it past them. Well, how would we have used not GPS though? <clears throat> This show never ceases to amaze me. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. That makes sense. That makes total sense. 
what happens when someone besides us reaches out? Like, what if someone else, like, sends them a message? What? <laughs> Go for it. Do it. That's Morse code. That's Morse code. That's not Morse code. There's. Short, 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 long, long. That's Morse code. Ukyo would should Ukyo should be able to instantly translate this. They all should be able to instantly translate it. They're all smart enough. I'm saying Ukyo because he was in the military, the Navy. It's Morse code. Why? That's, I have goosebumps. <laughs> that, I have goosebumps. That's creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. I'm shook. Nah, this shows. This shows fire. Oh, I have goosebumps. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> I had like a cold shiver go down my spine. Oh man. Huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. Whew. What? an episode my goodness um you had it was such a good episode and then the ending was so crazy that it just completely made me forget about the whole episode leading up to that that was creepy that was absolutely creepy see that's the whole when whenever i think of like movies or even real life where people send out signals to places. Is that a real picture of Mount Fuji back there? When people send out signals to places that shouldn't have signals, it's like, what are you guys going to do when you get something back? Like, when it, like they consistently send signals in the space, hoping that someone will respond i think i remember a couple of years ago saying that they got something like something back from space i don't know but like what are you gonna do when you send a message out and then something comes back what are you gonna do marvel at the fact that there's something out there or freak out that now you've absolutely told this thing that's out there exactly where we are they had no idea where we were 
<laughs> they possibly could have had no idea where we were. And now they know exactly where we are. <laughs> and you're going to bring them right to us because of science? <laughs> That's just me. But um, like that, the first thing that really pops into my brain, um, the show does a really good job at distracting you from it. Because in any other situation, if you've been around the channel, if you know me, even a little bit, right? If you know how I am, you would know that I'm, I'm not a worry wart, but I'm overly cautious. That's just how I am. I'll think about something every possible way. I'll Doctor Strange it in Infinity War. I will Doctor Strange it 14 million is it 605 or 705? I will overthink something before I do it, but I'll, I'll do it like this. I'll think about it really quick. I won't drag my feet. I'll think about it way too much. So any other situation, I would have been like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. But how Senku worded it, like he was like, oh, we're going to make GPS and this, this, and that. I kind of was like lost and confused like I usually am. Whenever Senku starts talking, I'm like either lost or confused. Like, well, what are you trying to do now? And he's like, GPS. I'm like, but there's no satellites. How are we going to do that? So I was kind of like strung, like getting strung along. The series was like effectively ring roping me along to getting me to that, um, that moment. So I'm like, okay, radio waves. Uh, and then they distract you. Oh, remember the whole chrome thing whenever we activate the phone they distract you with like this oh oh do it back do it back do it back you get wrapped up and you're not thinking about well if we're just like what we're not what like what we what we're doing is not pinpointing right it's not like the phone where the phone is i'm pretty sure pinpointing to each phone like this phone is going to that phone right and that phone's going to this phone. I'm pretty sure that's how that's going. But with this, this is we're just sending the signal out. And we we hold up and we bounce back. So it's pumping out and then we interrupt the pump out. And that identifies us. Me and any other situation would be like, we just send in the signal out. Especially after having the conversation of... This signal or originated in South America. And if this was deliberately done by a person, there's a chance that they could still be around. Why would we want to let someone know that there are other people still alive that have the ability and the knowledge to do this? This means that there are people from the old world awake. That, that would be my first guess that, oh, there's there's another colony of people somewhere else that have technology. And what do the human race do? The human race, when met with new people, they cross paths. They might share a little bit and then they fight each other. So like this, these people across the world, there's no telling how they are. They might not be like the people from Ishigami Village. How the people from Ishigami Village from the bare minimum they were very like ah, ah, stay away until we were able to break through and it just happened to be like this is our lineage when i say our i'm speaking from senku's point of view but these people from across the world we have no kin relation to them so we think um so it's like well that's like pretty risky are we ready to meet new people new people in a setting that we can't control that's the thing because we're meeting new people now we're waking people up little by little but we're controlling that we're in complete control of that are we ready to just completely meet an entirely different civilization and we have no control over what they do the only way you can control them is by force what if they have some disease or sickness <laughs> like, what if they have something new and they infect everybody? Like, these are things you have to think about because those are things that people had to think about back before the advancement of modern medicine, even though I know we have that. Like, 
Europeans meeting indigenous people. They're coming with all their sickness because they're living in like these cities and indigenous people don't live like that. And then it's just like, boom, all these people are getting sick and they don't have no way to fight it. Like, what if that could happen? It's almost 4,000 years past that. You see, I'm a worry wart. You see how fast I just spiraled out of control and spun this car around? Like, <laughs> like these are things that like run through my brain. And I'm just like, <laughs> like the show did a, I'm, I say all that to say the show did a really, really good job at distracting someone like me away from that possibility. The possibility was absolutely terrifying. I think if I would have recognized what was happening, it might have taken the chill away a little bit because I still think it was done effectively well. But the fact that it kind of like it didn't really blindside me because I'm like, nah, that's Morse code. Like I picked up on it. It was too it's too much of a pattern for it to be like just random static. And especially how Rui got, Rui had got cut off. I'm like, it's way too much of a like that was like we were having solid conversation. It cut off and the pattern we were getting the static we were getting was just at it was like very rhythmic it was a it was a pattern it sounds like no that's definitely 100 percent morse code so now it's just like the thought process is senku smart enough to know morse code ukiyo 100 would have morse code memorized he's a sonar like like that i'm pretty sure he would be able to he should know morse code in his um profession profession that he choose I don't know if um, Ryusui would know Morse code. You would think he's a sailor. Um, And then Gen is just smart as hell. So Gen definitely would know Morse code. So it's like everybody on the boat, except for maybe Chrome, if Senku didn't teach Chrome Morse code, would know what Morse code is. And they would be able to decipher it. And I like how the fact that it was just like, Gen is like, W. And it, and it wasn't like a W, like that would have been annoying. It wasn't like a, w h y and then he thinks about it it was like a, a w he's like that's a w and he's like h and before he even says like truly says h he says it it comprehends and it freaks him out I, i'm like i think that's what does it like seeing like a real a real motor response happen from it like okay we're getting i'm getting goosebumps again thinking about it we're reaching someone for the very first time that we are not in control of. And the first thing they say to us is why not like, oh, my good, not like a an SOS or a, this is so and so. It's just why. Like that thought would be that thought would cross my mind. It, it would give me goosebumps. Like, what do you mean? So you're on bad timing as soon as I see you then. There should be nobody alive, but the fact that there is someone alive, it's not right. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that freaks me out. It does. Uh, it freaks me out, man. It freaks me out. Because of all the messages that it could have been, why would you send why? You could have sent uh, who? Welcome? Where are you? You could have sent any one of those things. Why just say why? They said why because it, they, I'm pretty sure these people, I don't know who they are. I am babbling. I don't know who they are, but they probably had the same reaction that us, the viewer, had. I Can you imagine being somewhere? There's no telling if this is going to be like a lineage of people, kind of like Ishigami Villages where they're like up to times where they haven't like they still have solid history or a solid infrastructure of what the old world used to be or could there like there's a, a petrification beam that wrapped the earth and turned everyone to stone i'm sure if someone wanted to figure out how to live forever they possibly could i don't know but if it's like if it's like those people my guess would be like I'm I'm wondering Morse code because they don't have the advancement and technology to be able to talk back or is this just like a specific setting where it's just like this other technology like 
this technology won't pick up that beam that they're sending out but this old analog technology would pick it up so it would be like one of those situations like if you were to like put this in a movie where we would have like our setup like how this is right here and our computers and all this stuff but the old analog thing that has dust on it in the corner is making noise why is it making noise <laughs> so then you go investigate it and lo and behold there's someone talking on the other end other end you would be like why <laughs> i would probably say why i don't i wouldn't send why back but i'd be like oh snap there's people now this depends on the person who sent it is other people being alive just not a good thing you'd be like oh damn we gotta go clean this up or is this like a oh snap oh snap i don't know i i got freaking i got goosebumps I, every time I think about it, it sends a shiver up my spine. Like, seriously. It was very effective. It was very well done. That is a good point, too. It's like, why would you repeat why over and over? I, Whenever you're communicating in Morse code, you don't want to, like, you don't want to send something that is, like, especially if you're not having direct conversation with someone, you don't want to, like, be sending Morse code out in, like, a conversation type. And you want to send something out and then end the transmission, like send it out, leave time, send it out, leave time, send it out. Though just, it was a beep, beep, beep. It's just, why, why, why? It was like someone slamming on the keyboard. Why? <sighs> um, It's like slamming on the keyboard. Why? It's not like a why question mark. And you wait a little bit. You don't get a response. You send why again? Question mark. You're waiting for the response. You don't get it. You send it again. It wasn't that. It's just why, 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 why. Like that person's like off or like they're freaking out. Oh, my goodness. Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what an episode. This It did the same thing that it did last week for me where they'll do this whole thing in the beginning of the episode, which sets up the end of the episode. But then they'll do such a good job at like pivoting that you don't even remember the first half of the episode <laughs> like by the time last week you got to the pictures and stuff if you would have told me like yo that bread stuff happened this episode i've been like you're right it did the whole time i'm sitting on this boat freaking out getting chills up my spine if you would have been like hey that boar stuff happened this episode i would be like you know what you're right it did happen this episode <laughs> oh man i feel like they're doing such a great job ah again dr stone is literally one of my favorite series um i have such a great time the fact that it did this it <laughs> it's slotting itself even higher oh my goodness i'm about to knock stuff over oh what an episode um i'm gonna call it here <laughs> because i could keep i could keep babbling if you're still here and you're still watching if i'm babbling right and I'm just like talking and not stopping and faster and faster and faster. That's when you know I like something, right? That's when you know I'm invested. <laughs> so you know I really care. Like if I'm just going and going and going and going and I can't shut up and I can't shut up. That's how you know. Like that's a clear telltale sign that I'm in. So <laughs> I don't want to babble too much longer. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whenever you're watching this. Have a good weekend coming up. And hopefully, God willing, I see you guys right back here next Thursday for episode four of Dr. Stone New World. So, again, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you. Peace out.